cinema Matinee I ain't got 750 to pay Everybody now all right. All right. Wild Hogs 2. <laughs> Might not, as well be. Not even. This is old dogs and this <laughs> needs to be put to sleep. Now, now, now help me out though. Okay, it's it's you know, it's old dogs from the makers of Wild Hogs and it's got John Travolta. Is John Travolta not his same character? No, no. It has nothing to do with them at all. It's it's just trying to identify with the previous film that they these producers made with John Travolta. It has nothing to do with it. In fact, here's what's going to fucking bake your noodle. Wild Hogs is a much better film than Old Dogs. What? Wild Dog uh Wild Hogs has characters and a story that that could That's actually what? be called a plot. I can't hate it. Maybe it's cuz I just felt like it helped me to go to sleep, but other than that, what? you know, I mean You aren't you the guy that turned to me about 15 minutes in and said I don't think I can take this anymore. <laughs> yeah. And I said, you're going to walk out and you go, I think I am. Yep. And you looked at me and I said, yeah, I'm not going to let this one beat me. And you said, wait, you still have never r- walked out of a film? And I'm like, no, I haven't. And you were like, fuck, now I have, <laughs> to, now I have to stay. And that was the like, conversation oh, well, we had I 15 lie. minutes in. I cannot lie. And, that's, and it did indeed get worse from there. But there's a few thin story elements that kind of link together these scenes of these two jackasses that have no character at all. That's just Robin Williams and John Travolta. Uh, John uh, Robin Williams plays old dog number one, and John Travolta plays old dog number two, who's the swinging, occasionally hits that version of number one. There's no difference between these characters. And one of the characters, Robin Williams, finds out that seven years ago he knocked up a girl on vacation and ended up who ended up carrying his twin kids. And now he finds out he's a father just as she's about to go to jail for two weeks and needs someone to look after the kids. And that provides That's what they do in L.A. now okay. that provides <laughs> the thin framework of which we see a number of scenes in which these two actors completely and utterly humiliate themselves for a lot of zeros. Yeah. You know what? I saw that trailer. I saw a golf ball. Hit somebody in the nuts. I saw a little boy. Hit somebody in the nuts. I saw a gorilla. Hit somebody in the nuts. It's it's that movie that show that they were watching Idiocracy. Yeah. Kicked in the nuts. We. (laughs) This movie is evidence that we are that much closer to being a brainless society. Oh, here's the thing, though. Okay, these guys are gay lovers. The movie just doesn't have the balls to it. (laughs) No, seriously, they're constantly touching each other. Got their arms around each other. They do everything together. They do everything but actually have sex. And you're like, okay, why don't they just admit it that these two guys are lovers? Well, we say John Travolta and Robin Williams. Wow, they really are degrading themselves being, being in this film. But, but we're accustomed to that from yeah, them. Yeah, exactly. You, but, yeah. but Seth Green, Matt Dillon is in this, Justin Long, Dax Shepard, Luis Guzman. Uh, all these great uh, comedic actors kind of step in collect their check before they walk into frame and then do the most ridiculous bull you've seen may, them do in years. May I make a statement here that uh, Seth Green and Dax Shepard went in a movie called Without a Paddle? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you know but what? That was great by yeah. comparison. And neither of them were stars at the time. That was Dax Shepard's first movie and Seth, Seth Green? Green's like third. Seth Green? He was a star? Yeah, not, yeah. not in 1999 when they made that movie. That was, was in 1999. Like, Without not, a Paddle? Look a, it up. Damn, what kind of time work were you in? Without a paddle, it's 2004. What? Yep. Yeah, yeah I'm looking at say. it right now. Fuck you. <laughs> this movie hard. This movie made me very angry. It, it, was, it was just a terrible, terrible movie. I mean, honestly, you cannot say it better than what happened. Cyrus turned to me and was about to bail out of the movie and only wasn't going to bail because I wasn't going to bail. If it had been a movie i would have bailed it's not quite it's approaching it that's for sure because this is total shit. Making, making matters worse, they're really hung up on the old dog concept, and this film is filled with dogs that are all used for reaction shots. Oh, are you I serious? Know, know. Now they're actually throwing dogs? How in many them? times the Constantly. dog goes, looks up, and it goes, huh? There are dogs in scenes that there doesn't need to be a f-ing dog only for the reaction shot. It is so... I cannot... You, you know, have to... I you almost know, want like you to they, go and see this movie so you can understand what you know, the... We went Actually, through. it would have been cool had they had like a few shots, like one dog, one other dog, and then cut to the other dog was like, 